Okay, so I fucked up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, take one of this video, I forgot to turn the microphone on. Yes, I'm a doofus. I'm an idiot. That's why the last video uh, that I uploaded was the first take of this and it did not have sound for the majority of the video because I'm a fucking idiot and I didn't turn the microphone on. Um, and assumed that the internal mic was going to work and it doesn't when you have the the output plugged in with the the external mic yeah i know i'm a fucking idiot <laughs> but anyway we're all human beings we're allowed to make mistakes i read that in a book once um anyway this is take two that means this not this um of the one of the final Jeff Speakman reviews um, in terms of the movies, and this one is going to be for The Gunman. And this is a... The, the, the word that you are going to hear me say a lot in this particular review is boring. This movie is so damn boring. Oh my goodness gracious. I... I... Yeah, I... You know, I've seen this movie one time. Um, I remember renting this a number of years ago from Netflix when Netflix did the... Uh, well, I think they still do. I think Netflix still does the DVD services um, or Blu-ray at this point. Um, but I remember renting this movie through there because at that time I was trying to see some more uh, Jeff Speakman movies. And... Yeah, um, he plays a supporting role in this movie. He's not the main character. It would have been a lot better if he was the main character. Um, but this movie, again, boring is the biggest word that I could use for this film. Um, it's just really, really boring. Um, and, and I mean, and not, I mean, <laughs> there's other, you know, things I could say about this film, and I'm going to. Um, it's. The script is really bad. It's horribly miscast. Um, the title, I don't know why they called it The Gunman because the, the the vigilante character is not a man in the movie. Spoiler alert, maybe this movie was trying to, you know, predate the transgender stuff. I don't know. Bad joke, I know. But, yeah, this movie's pretty, pretty damn lame in my opinion. Speakman has a cameo in this film. Uh, based, I mean, it's, yeah, it's pretty much a cameo, because he's only in a couple scenes. Um, he plays a martial arts instructor, and you would, you would think that, you know, based upon the movie, that he would be the vigilante, but he's not, and they give it away. They already give away who the vigilante is, right when they say it's not Jeff Speakman's character. But yeah, so anyway... Um, this movie, the, the guy that wrote and directed this movie wrote and directed the next movie that Speakman was in, which is Striking Range. And I will say that movie is way better than this one, but it's still not a very good movie, in my opinion. It, it's, it's there, it's okay, but nothing to write home about, at least in my personal opinion. Um, you know, it's really not, but... God, this movie's bad. Um, this movie is about there's a cop who's going after this killer, but the twist this time is the killer kills kids, not adults. Um, and then there's a vigilante that's going after the killer as well. And then there's a partner, and the partner is new, and she's trying to fit in, and then they fit a fucking love story in there. And yeah, this movie's pretty bad. Pretty bad movie. Um, the script is really bad. It's really horribly written. It has nothing going for it. Um, the movie is miscast. Uh, Sean Patrick Flannery plays the cop. And I like his work. I enjoyed him in The Boondock Saints. Uh, he was young Indiana Jones on the TV series. I really enjoyed him in that. He was in I See You with Stallone. You know, I enjoy Sean Patrick Flannery's work. I like him as an actor. And he's also uh, a martial artist. He is uh, primarily known for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's an instructor as well. Um, 
Um, and then I think he also, prior to studying jujitsu, I believe he studied taekwondo. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but um, I'm not mis- if, if I'm correct, that's the, how it goes. But you know, he just didn't fit in the, in this role. To be honest, I just couldn't buy him as 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 the lead cop in this role. You know, another actress that I like, Joey Lauren Adams. You know, from the Kevin Smith movies and such. You know, I like her, but I just didn't buy her as the partner. And again, they try to shove the romance in there, and I hate when they do that. Um, Mimi Rogers is in the film. Spoiler alert, she's the vigilante. But it doesn't make sense because um, she's her leg is, like, fucked up in the movie. I can't remember if she's, like, sick or she got hurt or whatever it is. But... When she's the vigilante, she's like running around and kicking and punching and jumping and doing all this crazy stuff. And I'm like, well, if her leg's bad, how can she do this? And they ne- they never explain that in the movie. They never do. Um, the guy that played the killer, I don't even know his name, but honestly, he was forgettable. He was pretty lame, just like Michael Shiner in um, the uh b- 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 what movie but the expert couldn't think of the name of this the other speakman movie um but this movie is really really forgettable to be perfectly honest in one ear out the other speakman is wasted um there's a, a couple scene the couple scenes that he is in um most of them he's teaching kempo which was cool there's a scene at the end uh during the credits where he's doing a little demo and belt promotion and that was pretty cool again you can find that here on youtube um that stuff so there's really no reason for anyone to see this movie at least in my opinion um but yeah this movie is really lame and the one the one scene that really bothered me in this film um there's a part where this one of the sus he's not the killer but he's one of the suspects um He's a child molester, and there's a part where he kidnaps this little girl, and they go out in the woods, and he's trying to, you know, and I'm like, we really did not need that in, a, in any kind of movie. It doesn't matter if it's this type of movie or, or what else. Um, you, you didn't need that in any kind of film, in, in my personal opinion. So that was definitely unsettling, and it's like, well, why the fuck was that kind of scene in this movie? And uh, oh, Tom Wright is in this film. Um, he's also in the next movie, Striking Range, as well. But he plays the police captain. He definitely has more to do in Striking Range in this movie. But Tom Wright has been in a bunch of movies. He was uh, the Jamaican cop in Mark for Death with Steven Seagal. He was the guy that helps out Seagal towards the end of the film. Um, he was on uh, Martial Law, the TV series with Samo Hung. Um, he's been, you've seen Tom Wright before. He's been in a lot of stuff over the years, a lot of movies and TV shows over the years. But yeah, he has a smaller role in this film as the, the police captain. But yeah, the, the action is really lame. It's really forgettable. Um, the script is, is garbage, to be perfectly honest. The movie's miscast. It's a really, really boring, lame, forgettable movie. Again, I would rather just have had Jeff Speakman play the lead, have him be the cop, and then he just gets fed up with all this bullshit and he just goes and starts killing people and he becomes a vigilante. That would have been a way, way better movie than what we got. Um, you know, again, I just don't understand, and I, and I know I keep bitching and complaining about this in all these videos, but I just don't understand. Why, you know, especially when he moved into the directed video market, he could have made a killing. I mean, he could have made a ton of movies, you know, like Van Damme or, you know, even Seagal, even though most of those aren't very good. Um, he still could have made a bunch of those kind of movies and, and been successful with that. Maybe, you know, again, maybe Jeff didn't want to. Maybe he just wanted to do, you know, some stuff here and there, that kind of thing. I don't know. Again, you'd have to ask Jeff that. I'm not the expert pun intended <laughs> on that but yeah but anyway again this movie is really lame really boring um you know you've seen one of these kind of movies you've seen them all there there's not anything that this movie has going for it pretty damn forgettable in my opinion and i will definitely never watch it again that's for sure uh, 
but it's a shame because I could definitely, I would, I would definitely have wanted to see Jeff Speakman in this kind of movie where he's a cop and then he gets fed up and becomes a vigilante. Like, that would have, again, why the fuck didn't they make that movie? That would have been a way, way better action film, way more enjoyable action film than the one that they ended up making. And then again, the title is very misleading because the gunman is not a man. He's a woman. She's a woman. See? Here we go. Finkel and Einhorn. Einhorn and Finkel. <laughs> anyway, um, that's pretty much it. The uh, There is another movie called The Gunman, which has Sean Penn. That is not a fantastic movie, but it's a way better movie than this. That's for sure. But yeah. So anyway, um, I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And next will be... Um, the next review will be the last of the Jeff Speakman movie reviews and that will be for uh, Striking Range so until then um, as always thank you guys for watching take care I'll talk to you guys later see you